Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Games Edition and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Aorus B450 Elite motherboard. So I happen to have picked this motherboard up for my personal gaming slash workstation rig. So let's check out what this motherboard has to offer. And just before we install it, we're going to go to the back of the box and see what uh, features this motherboard has. And then after that, we're going to install it into my personal rig and we're going to uh, check out the rest of the features in the BIOS. Okay, so now that we're at the back of the box, we can look up some of the features of this motherboard. So right at the back, I know what you guys are going to ask. And yes, this thing out of the box is 3000 series CPU ready. If you have uh, the new 5000 uh, C uh, Ryzen CPUs, then there is a BIOS update available. However, it is a one-time BIOS update, meaning uh, once you've done the BIOS update, you'll only be able to use the new uh, series CPUs. You can't go... Uh, you can't downgrade to any of the 3000 CPUs. However, if you have something like I have, which is a Ryzen 5 3600X or 3600, uh, you can easily get this motherboard, put the two uh, components together and it'll work straight right out of the box. Okay, so moving back to the back, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, let's look at some of the other things. So you've got obviously the uh, AMD Ryzen CPU support and Athlon series CPU support. So if you're building a budget PC, uh, you can get this motherboard and Athlon series CPUs will work with it. You've got the AM4 socket and the B450 AMD chipset. Now, in case you buy a CPU that has uh, graphics inside of it, uh, like a 3400G, well, your graphics interfaces on this motherboard is HDMI and DVI. And for your RAM, you have dual channel DDR4 RAM, which is supported by this motherboard. And for connectivity, you've got six USB 3.1s Gen 1, and you've got two uh, USB 2.0s. And then for audio, you have onboard audio on this. Uh, you will have the Realtek audio pre-installed once you've got this motherboard installed on your computer where you can adjust uh, sound and EQ settings. And for that, you've got eight channel HD audio. And then you've got the normal uh, LAN Gigabyte Gaming LAN. And the form factor of this is ATX. Okay, now the storage options you have on this are your regular SATA storage options for your hard drives or your SSDs and as well as that you have two M.2 slots so you've got one with a heat shield and one without. You're going to want to use the one that's closest to the CPU though to get the fastest speeds out of uh, the fastest read and write speeds out of your SSD or your M.2. And Aorus uh, claim to have a hybrid digital PWM design for their PCBs. And then you can see here we have the LAN again, no lag, just frag. Uh, then you've got the thermal guard, which I've just told you about. You have one thermal guard, but your other M.2 slot does not have that. But you're going to want to use the uh, M.2 slot that's closest to the CPU for those faster read and write speeds. Then you have uh, six temperature sensors on this motherboard and four hybrid fan headers. Okay, so now that we've got all that stuff out of the way, we can talk about the last bit, which is RGB. Now, you do have RGB on this motherboard, and it's a small strip, which is just down here, and then on the actual Aorus logo. I'll go more in-depth on that when we've got this installed into my PC. And there we are. It's got Smart fa uh, SmartFan 5 technology. So that's Aorus's latest technology for the fans. And then you've got a quick image of the rear I.O. So I'll let you guys see this. So you've got your DVI, HDMI, USBs, your Ethernet, the two USB 2.0s. Sorry, there are actually four USB 2.0s. You've got your PS2 port and all your audio interface there. And uh, the RGB technology that this motherboard uses is called RGB Fusion 2.0. And you can use that to synchronize the motherboard RGB and maybe some of your other uh, Aorus uh, components or Gigabyte components. Okay, so now let's get this motherboard installed. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've now installed the uh, Aorus B450 Elite motherboard. And just a quick rundown of my uh, PC specs for those of you who want to know. It's got a Ryzen 3600 uh, CPU. It's got a GTX 1080, uh, GTX 1080, I was going to say TI then, it's just a normal 1080. I've got 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM. And that's about it. And if you're wondering what cooler I'm using, I bought this from Amazon. It's called a Golden Field 280mm uh, water cooler AIO. And that's about it. I'm not using any uh, M.2s. Uh, I'm using a normal SSD and hard drive as my storage options. 
and if I take you guys out of the tripod you'll be able to see uh, you can see the RGB on the Aorus chipset it's changing colors and you can see the RGB on that strip there which if you do have a beefy graphics card like I do uh, that strip isn't going to be as visible but this logo one will be when you're sitting down at your desk okay so let's power this thing up and head straight into the BIOS okay so now that we're in the BIOS uh, we can uh, have a look around and see all the features that this motherboard has. Uh, I'm not that good with looking at stuff inside the BIOS, so if there's some specific stuff you guys want to know, uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll have uh, the co-presenter of uh, Games Edition answer that, because he's a lot better at this kind of stuff. So we have right off the bat, we've got advanced frequency settings, memory settings, PC health. So I'm guessing for PC health, you can check all your components, voltages, and things like that. We'll go out to there before I mess anything up. Uh, right, settings, what do, we, what do we have here? Stuff that I don't understand clearly. Then we've got boot options here, so if, you're, if you've got a key card for Windows 11, let's just say, I'm pretty sure you can use that as a boot drive from here to have that installed. Make sure you've got your stuff backed up though. If you guys want a guide on how to install Windows 11, uh, let me know in the comment section down below, I can make that happen. And peripherals, it should say what I've got here. Yeah, pretty much chipset, it shows all the chipset information. Oh, and it shows my hard drive stuff. Uh, AC, so this is power options, power for the keyboard. Power on by keyboard. Oh, so it's actually disabled here, but... Oh, sorry guys, I didn't know that was out of focus. Let me lock the focus for you guys. Uh, so power on by keyboard, uh, this is actually a new thing with this motherboard for me at least because uh, when I was on the Intel platform you couldn't actually do this so I'm going to show you this later on. You can press any key on the motherboard and it just wake up the PC uh, from sleep. So anything else here? Nope. Uh, yeah that's pretty much it. I've got to say though I did have a MSI motherboard when I was on the Intel side. Uh, and the MSI BIOS is actually pretty easy uh, to look at and configure stuff in. Or it could just be because I'm new to the Gigabyte BIOS, but anyways, let's uh, exit without saving because I don't want to do anything wrong and mess up this PC. So we'll wait for this to turn on and then I'm going to show you that uh, press any button on your keyboard to wake the PC. Now you guys saw it was disabled there, but for some reason, even when it's disabled, it still works which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Okay, so I just put the computer to sleep. You can see everything's, uh, let me take you guys out the tripod. You can see that's turned off the keyboard. Let's zoom you guys back out. Keyboard's off, mouse is off, PC's now off. Now, I'm just going to press any button. We'll press, uh, we'll press enter. Watch what happens. All I did was press enter and it wakes up the PC. So if you've, if you're one of those people who sit into your chair and then you're like, oh, wait, got to turn the PC on. And for me, because this uh, case is so tall, it's actually quite hard to reach. You can easily just configure that. You can configure your PC to turn on by just tapping one of the keys on the keyboard. I think that's pretty cool. But now let's go into Windows and I want to show you one last thing. Okay, so with this motherboard, once it's installed, uh, some in some software uh, pre-installs itself, which I'm about to show you. Now, on my Dell G5 gaming laptop, which I'm just going to bring in for you guys, uh, this beast over here, which I use for productivity when I'm out, uh, this has something similar to that, but that has uh, something called the uh, Nahemic, or some. It's, I think it's called Nahemic uh, sound software. And if you have this Gigabyte motherboard, well, you get you get this. You get the Realtek Audio Console. So let me just zoom in for you guys so you can see that. You can see it right there. This comes pre-installed. I didn't have this when I had my MSI motherboard, so clearly that doesn't have it. So if we click onto this, uh, you can configure your audio. So you've got your speakers here. Let's just zoom back in for you guys. Lock the focus. Uh, you can adjust your EQ settings from, you can do stereo, uh, quadraphonic, 5.1 speaker, 7.1 speaker, uh, virtual sound, then you've got your EQ settings, so you got pop, live, club, rock, bass, treble, then you can configure it here by yourself. And that's pretty much it, then you've got microphone settings here, 
and yeah that's uh, that's it that's uh, it for that I'm just checking if I do have the Nahimic one pre-installed in here no I do not okay and just before we end the video I wanted to give you guys a quick look of everything including the motherboard before we leave off so here's a quick look at everything there's the motherboard top half you got a nice Aorus logo there there's the RGB towards the bottom there's a chipset you can configure all this with software I prefer it to just uh, do it by itself it looks pretty good you've got your 24 pin here then you got your normal 8 pin here you do not have the extra uh, 8 pin like some other boards have for example the ROG version uh, if I can I'll pop up a picture right here Okay, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. As per usual, if there's anything I didn't cover in this video and you have questions about it, feel free to ask in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to get back to you guys uh, and answer your questions. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.